Hello, thank you for joining me on this watercolour demonstration. My name's Bill Lupton, I'm a full-time artist and I'm also an ambassador for the SAA and St Cuthbert's Mill who supply me with watercolour paper. For this painting I'm just using three colours from the SAA range, burnt sienna, French ultramarine and lemon yellow and the paper I'm using is Saunders Waterford 300 grams rough quarter imperial. I started by wetting the whole of the paper and then adding French ultramarine blue just to give me a background ready for the clouds to go on. I can see the paint now running down the paper into that wet area. Um, it's still quite wet so I'm using a lemon yellow now just to add a little bit to the foreground. I'll paint on top of this later but this just provides illumination. Right in the foreground I want some really warm colour so I'm just using burnt sienna now in various strokes across the painting to give me some ridges on which I can build later. Well the painting is still actually damp so what I've done is I've mixed burnt sienna with the ultramarine blue to give me a grey. It's more of a blue grey so there's a little bit more blue than burnt sienna in there. I love using these two two colours because they do separate out so later on in the painting you'll see that the burnt sienna has actually moved away from the blue and given me a nice gold edge to these clouds that I'm painting in now. That's why I like to use these two colours together because they separate and the blue granulates so we get a wonderful effect in skies. Now I've just mixed a stronger mix of those same two colours to give me quite a dark grey and I'm adding more clouds to the top of the painting. This will separate again and I'll get a nice gold edge around the clouds. My painting's resting at an angle of about 30 degrees which forces the paint to run down the paper. Well that's the sky finished, I need to let that dry. As you can see when it's dry, it dries a lot lighter and you can see where the burnt sienna has separated at the bottom of those clouds giving a nice golden edge to that granulated blue. This is the same mix of grey now and I'm just creating the peaks of those mountains. Well that's a little bit of a bluey grey to create the main shape. What I'm doing now is mixing more burnt sienna with it to create more of a warm brown grey and then adding a little bit of that colour in there as well. Now I just apply clean water in between those colours and run that clean water down towards the valley. This is quite a weak mix of ultramarine blue with a touch of lemon yellow. It gives me a nice cool green and I can paint some misty trees in the background. I'm also going to put some lemon yellow in there to create the effect of fields. I do run uh, a number of classes around the Nottingham area so if you're interested uh, why not uh, take a look at my website www.thepaintings.co.uk where you'll find out more about me and my work. I also do workshops and demonstrations to art clubs and societies around the country. And if you would like any more information about the classes or demonstrations and workshops why not email me build.lupton at ntlworld.com or you can text or call me on 07572 334477. Well I've now moved on to the middle distance and the foreground. I'm using richer and warmer colours here. These are more green now than blue and I'll also use a lot more of the burnt sienna as you'll see.
Well, you can see this fairly strong burnt sienna in the foreground really does push everything else in the background further back. Those blue tops of those mountains really do seem a long way away. What I've done now is I've mixed some of the burnt sienna with the blue to create a quite dark golden brown colour and I'm adding some of that right down the bottom of the painting. Again, it helps to improve the depth. Well, as you can see, the colour dries quite a lot lighter than when I put it on. And I'm just going to use some strong dark colour now, a mix of the blue and the, and the burnt sienna, to give me a nice dark so I can paint a tree in that middle distance. I'm now using just a clean wet brush just to soften the bottom edge of that line of dark. I'm using a very strong mix of the burnt sienna with the ultramarine blue and create a large tree on this right hand side. If you're enjoying this recording why not subscribe to my videos? Um, all that means is totally free and you'll receive an email telling you when I upload new ones. Now ordinarily I may say that painting's finished now, but I just want to show you a technique using a sponge for creating leaves. This is a, a natural sponge, quite aerated as you can see, and I'm just going to dab it into yellow paint while it's damp, and then touch the paper with it around the ends of these branches to create leaves. Now I've mixed a little blue with the yellow to give me a darker green and I shall dab some of that in around those leaves as well. And of course we don't want to forget the smaller tree on the left hand side. I've mixed a very strong dark colour now, again using just the blue with the uh, burnt sienna to create a really dark grey. I want to darken this foreground in places and then actually use water, just clean water with a brush in between to soften some of those colours. Well, these are some of the strongest colours in the painting um, and as you can see it does help create almost a three-dimensional effect. Those background hills and the misty valley do look a long way away now. And finally I just want to add a couple of people to the painting using a small brush just in silhouette. Well, there we go, um, paint is just about finished, just using three colours. You can see where the burnt sienna separates from the ultramarine blue and the ultramarine blue granulates in the sky. There's the sponge effect for the leaves, uh, quite a simple way to paint trees. A little bit of detail in the foreground and a couple of people in silhouette. You can see the leaves on this distant tree a little bluer so they seem further away. Well thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Please don't forget to visit my website www.thepaintings.co.uk where you'll find out more about me and don't forget to watch my other videos on YouTube. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.